What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys in this video I'm gonna show you that how you can install macOS on any desktop or laptop computer using a macOS bootable USB drive. In my previous video I already show you that how you can create a bootable USB drive for macOS in any Windows computer. If you don't know how to do that click on this link to watch that video and create a macOS bootable USB drive for your computer like me. And in this video I'm gonna step by step guide you that how you can install the macOS Catalina on your desktop computer using a macOS Catalina bootable USB drive. So without further ado let's get started. But before that if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe this youtube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much. Ok guys so right now you can see my computer screen and here is my BIOS. Now to install the macOS on any windows based computer or laptop you have to configure your BIOS for a couple of things. First of all you have to go to secure boot and you have to disable the secure boot option. If it's enabled macOS will not boot on your computer so you have to disable it. Then go to boot option and also disable the fast boot option. Then go to chipset option and from here select system agent as a configuration. And from here go to graphics configurator and make sure to select DVM pre-allocated to 64 MB. Otherwise your macOS will not work smoothly on your windows computer. Now after that you have to connect your macOS bootable USB drive with your computer. Then go to save and setting from your BIOS. Then press F10 key on your computer to save the changes. Then press enter. Then while restarting press the boot menu key of your computer. This is my boot menu key. And from here you have to select UEFI USB flash drive. Select it then press enter. And you will get this type of screen. The UEFI boot partition. Install macOS Catalina option and reset NVRAM. From here you have to select install macOS Catalina and press enter. Now your computer should boot from the USB pen drive for installing macOS Catalina on your Windows computer. It's gonna take some time to boot and configuration. So you have to wait until you get the macOS recovery option. Ok, so guys here you can see the Apple logo. So that means my computer is now booting to macOS recovery option. So now we get the macOS recovery screen. And this is the macOS utilities. Now first of all you have to format the disk drive to APFS mode so that you can install the macOS Catalina on your disk drive. So select disk utility then click on continue. And this is the disk utility. Now I am going to install the macOS Catalina into this 120 GB SSD drive. So you have to select your SSD drive. Click on erase. Here you need to name whatever you want. I am gonna keep it untitled but if you want you can type here macOS. Click on this format option and from here select APFS. And make sure scheme should be GUID partition map. Then click on erase. Ok. Now close this disk utility. Then click on install macOS. Then click on continue. Click on continue. Then click on agree. And here you can see the disk drive whatever you created and formatted using the APFS. So select that disk drive then click on install. Now your macOS Catalina should start installing on your disk drive. It's gonna take couple of minutes so you have to wait. You don't need to do anything else. Just sit back and relax until the macOS Catalina is completely installed on your disk drive. Ok guys, now here you can see on my screen the welcome page of macOS Catalina. That means we have successfully installed macOS Catalina on our computer. Now what you need to do, you have to complete the basic configuration like creating user account, selecting your location, adding your Apple ID, all of these steps to start using the macOS Catalina on your computer. So follow me. From this welcome page you have to select your location. Here I am gonna select Bangladesh because I am from Bangladesh. Then click on continue. 
Then on written and spoken language on this page, click on continue. Again, data privacy, continue. And from transfer information to this Mac, you have to select don't transfer any information now. Then click on continue. And now here, you have to sign in with your Apple ID. So for this time, you can skip this part. Click on set up later. Then click on skip. Here I'm going to type Mehdi Shakil. Then press tab key. Then again press tab key and type a password. Then click on continue. Now your user account will be set up and you will get the macOS desktop screen. Then from here you have to select any look or theme for your macOS. I'm going to keep it auto. Then go to continue. And now here you can see it's setting up my Mac. So it's going to take some time. So you have to wait. Okay, so guys, here you can see my macOS screen. Now you have to set up the keyboard. So click on continue and press the key after shift on your left side, then the right side, then click on done. Okay, so guys, here you can see we have successfully installed macOS Catalina on our Windows computer. If I click on this Apple icon and go to about this Mac, all the details about my PC. Okay, if I restart my computer, I will not be able to boot if I remove the USB pen drive or the macOS bootable USB drive. Here you can see this is the macOS bootable USB drive. So open up the Safari browser of your macOS, then search on Google, open core configurator, then go to this first link, Mackie 100 project, and scroll down and click on this download link, download here. Then again, scroll down and click on this download button to download this open core configurator. Click on allow if you get this type of pop-up and it should start downloading the open core configurator zip file into your Mac OS. It's gonna take some time, so you have to wait until the downloading has been completed. Okay, so downloading has been completed. Now you can close your Safari browser. Now open the open core configurator or go to download folder, open it. And you will get a, this type of error. From here, click on open. And you will get this open core configurator open on your Mac OS. Now click here, then go to tools, then click on mount EFI. And now first of all, from here you have to select EFI on install Mac OS Catalina, the USB flash drive. Click on mount partition and type your Mac OS password. Then click on OK. Then click on open partition. And from here, copy this EFI folder and paste that folder into your desktop. Now close all of this window, then click on unmount partition. Now click on the SSD disk drive where you install macOS Catalina and click on mount partition, then click on open partition. Now go to your desktop, copy the EFI folder from here and paste it into the EFI partition of your SSD disk drive. Then close this window. Again, close this window too and the open cone configurator window too. Now you have to restart your Mac OS and get into your BIOS. This is my BIOS. Now from here, go to boot. Then click on boot option hash one and make sure to select UEFI OS and your SSD drive. Then press enter. Then on your keyboard, press F10 to save and exit. But before that, reject your pen drive from your computer. Then press enter. And now your computer should boot into macOS without the bootable USB drive. Here you can see, I get the macOS boot screen. And now my computer is booting into macOS without this bootable USB pen drive. Here you can see the Apple logo and the Mac screen login. Here I have to type my password and this is the macOS desktop. So like this, you can easily install macOS Catalina or any other macOS in your Windows computer. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching this tech tutorial and I'm signing out.